time flies when you're having fun. It's been 90 days since I've updated my GoFundMe and I'm running out of filament. Look here. Yes, that's how I have been spending much of my time. Changing filaments, printing another part for the last version of my We Play etching press. Tricky business, have to do it just right. I become pretty skillful. I don't know if I could ever teach it, but I'm learning. It takes about one and three-fourths hours to print this little part I call the, the base of this tiny press. And I like to print them in different colors. Here's an example. I can squeeze that in there. This is one I printed earlier, and it's, uh, what, how many colors is that? I don't know. I lose count. But that's part of the fun of it. You saw me change from a green filament to a red filament. And so the slow process begins. I made so many that I could make a window display. I'll take you outside and show you. I put the mother of all these presses right there in the middle. And then I built like a wall of over 20 of the We Play presses that I'm printing now. And on the lower right, you see the original We uh, Rembrandt style plastic press. It never got finished, I'm um, still hoping. Stay the 3D tuned. printer has given me so many ideas. For example, these are the parts that go into making a press. This is a box of another one that I am planning to put together pretty soon. You see the parts are all loose in there. And by arranging them around on this board, I get ideas for board games. For example, this is the tiniest one. It only takes like five minutes to print. But this one, the wheel, takes closer to two hours to print. And this one takes over four hours to print. So there's a scoring system that's possible. Oh, and, and these are totally aside from the printing press. These are from my art series back in the 70s, copies of artworks that I made. This is called the wave square. This is called the curly T square. And this is the C square. Anyway, great fun. Thank you for looking.